Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how to add space between categories of multi row cards. So the category spelling is wrong. Let me correct it. So we have a multi row card as you would know already but having more space sometimes goes in a long way in terms of uh, creating an effective dashboard and let me give you an example of this because I was working on this dashboard which I will post it in some time. So in this dashboard, I wanted to create this. Uh, if I just expand this little bit. What I wanted is more space between furniture, office supplies and technology. And uh, similarly down below over here. So that I can give an impact that this is a bar. This is a category and this is the year over year change. So this is the dashboard which I was creating and I was finding it difficult because there is no default option, right? So I thought I'll give you the solution what I found out and also look forward for my this dashboard video once I will post it online. Okay, so how to add space is over here and what I wanted to show you is also this sheet which is a Google sheet. So if you have landed very first time on my channel then this is a Google sheet for which link is present in the description. That way you can come over here and uh, close to 300 videos which I have posted you can access it from here. So title is present here and the link is on that right hand side here and topic and the difficulty level, right? That is something which I maintain based on the request that you have all sent me. Okay, so coming back to the Tableau, sorry, the Power BI um, over here, let me first get the data. So the data is the simple Excel workbook, the sample superstore. So from where you can get this data again, what I provide is basically a link which asks you to uh, come over here in the data set folder. And in the data set folder, I have this data set sheet, right? For which, uh, you know, the all my, you know, commonly used data sources are present here. And the sample superstore data set is something which is present here. Okay. So with that, what I can do is I can bring the orders, right? And I can then bring it here. Okay. Um, load. So this will take just a couple of seconds and then I will show you the default, the, uh, the basically default way where you don't have any option of creating more space, but then how you can add a space with little bit of tweak that we can do with the help of measures. That is a key which I wanted to show you. And when I was doing the dashboard, I tried a couple of ways and, uh, and the measure worked perfectly. Okay, so the data is getting loaded and it should appear. Yep. So I have the multi row card over here. And then in the multi row card, what I can bring is let's say the segment and the sales, right? Simple. So if I can bring it over here and uh, if I can make it 100%, this is what it is, right? The default option. Now I want more space between consumer, corporate and home office, right? So usually what I do is I go here in the call out value. I don't see anything in the category label, which is this home office, corporate and consumer. Um, I don't see anything over here and same in cards, font, color, style. There is nothing padding is present. So you can experiment with padding and you can see it come closer and the maximum space it can allow you is this much but you need more space let's say between these two so what would you do in that case well in that case what i'm gonna do is i will going to create a new measure okay and this new measure is very simple measure we will call it blank and we will have two single two double quotation and i'll press enter okay so what it does is it creates a blank over here right and now once i go over here segment and sum of sales right so what i do is i just bring it over here so generally what it does is it it shows this blank right so what we need to do is we need to come over here and we need to uncheck the category labels so what i get consumer is this corporate is this and home office is this and then i can basically so now you see i have more space between these if let's say i remove then you will see i get less space but if i press undo 
over here which will bring blank and then I get more space over here. So that is a quick trick I wanted to show you in case you are running into a situation where I ran into while creating this dashboard where I needed more space between furniture, office supplies and technology. So that is something I found it useful and I thought you will also, uh, you know, get benefited from this in those tricky scenarios. With that, thank you so much and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.